COMMUNITY UPDATE THIS MORNING. JOINING US IN STUDIO THIS MORNING IS APPLETON POLICE CHIEF TODD THOMAS. GOOD MORNING. MORNING. WELL, YOU HAVE A PROGRAM THAT'S GOING ON RIGHT NOW. IT'S KIND OF FUN. IT'S CALLED THE TOY RIDE ALONG. TELL US A BIT ABOUT THAT. SURE. THIS IS A uh, APPLETON PARK AND REC DEPARTMENT AND uh, THEY uh, INVITED US TO JOIN IN ON THIS. SO THIS REALLY IS THEIR PROGRAM. IT'S REALLY had BEEN A LOT OF FUN. THIS IS MY, this is my PARTNER um, HERE. <laughs> Didn't he cute? <laughs> it's a stormtrooper GBP 628, and is uh, James's toy. But James sent it to us, and uh, stormtrooper's been spending the week with me. Um, he's kind of angry, if you can tell, probably because he sits through a lot of meetings. Um, but we've got about 50 kids who sent us their toys, and they're, it, it's really been a fun, uh, fun event. Uh, they've been riding along with officers. Uh, officers are taking pictures with them. Uh, we'll send a little card and the toy back to the, the children next week, and. Um, really a great program that Appleton Park and Rec put together and invited us to be a part of. Look forward to doing it again sometime. Now, why are you doing this? What is the point behind it? Um, well, we need a little fun in our lives now, right? Um, so this is really a good way for us to reach out to, to kids. We can't do ride-alongs. We can't give tours of the building right now. So it's a really cool way for us to connect with the kids and do something fun with them. Very cool. Okay, let's switch it up a bit now and talk about tentative crime statistics for 2020. Violent crime was down significantly from the prior year. Is that right? Yeah, this was really good news for us uh, for 2020. Um, our violent crime rate is actually lowest it's been in, in probably 20 years. It's one of our lowest rates ever. Uh, robberies are down about 25%, sexual assaults 40%, uh, aggravated assaults, which is uh, our, our major violent crime, down even 12%. So that that's really good news, um, and uh, hopefully it's a trend we can keep going. Why do you think this is? Uh, we, we live in a community uh, where we still have a lot of resources, a lot of support, a lot of great community partnerships. Um, our our council is very supportive of us uh, and other law enforcement agencies in the Fox Cities. So when we have an issue, it's a big issue. When we have a major crime, it, it still is an anomaly, um, and we can throw a lot of resources at it. Where you see some other areas of the country and even the state where, where they're not having the resources and uh, they don't have the time to do the proactive work that we've been doing. So um, it's a, it's a, it's a really kudos to our community and our our uh, city councils and our our government support that we get. And the city did see an increase in minor property crimes. So what kinds of things are being stolen and why do you think that is? Yeah, we had a significant increase in thefts from autos um, and some burglaries. Uh, generally, it's been, uh, the belief is, a lot of uh, juvenile crime uh, with the kids being out of school. We saw a lot of teenagers uh, doing car hopping, getting into cars that were unlocked, uh, doing, doing daytime burglaries. So um, I think that really drove those numbers up this year. The department has three priorities going into 2021. Can you tell us that one of them is traffic enforcement and education? Why is that so important? Right. We focused, uh, we're going to focus our attention on these three areas specifically um, in 2021. And this is a feedback that we got on our community survey. And traffic enforcement, traffic violations, reckless driving, and attentive driving, we all see it. It's our number one community concern, concern not only in Appleton, but across uh, Northeast Wisconsin and for most police agencies. So we are going to be uh, much more aggressive with our traffic enforcement and also our education, getting out and talking to kids and, and new drivers about the dangers of distracted driving and drowsy driving um, and inattentive driving. And how does the department also hope to enhance victim services? Yeah, we've got a new victim service officer, um, uh, Sergeant Lori Duvin, and uh, we are going to enhance our victim services. We've always had really good uh, partnerships with our victim services across uh, the city and the county, uh, but we're going to really focus in and, and, and uh, make that a priority for us. Uh, um, be an advocate, be an activist for, for the victims. We see a lot of agencies and a lot of places in the country um, speaking a lot about offender rights. Um, we want to be aware of, of, of offender rights, but we also want to be an advocate for our victims. And finally, quickly, you want officers to be more active in neighborhoods that don't get a lot of calls for service. How and why? Why do you want this? Yeah, feedback again from our community survey. One of the things uh, that they said we, we should do more of is that be more visible in the neighborhoods where we normally aren't. Um, being in the parks and the schools, walking neighborhoods. So uh, we're going to have our officers out and be more visible and active in, in the neighborhoods that don't see us a lot. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Chief Thomas. As always, we appreciate your time. Jordan's up next with the forecast.